once again by popular demand. This is a tour of the echo division of the Med Merlosh organ at Boardwalk Hall, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Today is November 4th, 2019, and we're going to take a look around. Before we go into the chamber, it's kind of dark here. Let me grab a flashlight. Outside the chamber is a wind regulator. There's lots of stuff, and all these wind lines going down out there are all devoted to this division up here. I'm going to keep using the flashlight because it's uh, the, the light in here is pretty dim, just a few uh, incandescent bulbs. These are various GEMS horns and Vox Humana ranks. You can see the extremely large scale of these guys here. And the, the sad uh, thing that happened here, which is that uh, the lead was just too soft and it fell over on its own. That doesn't appear to be vandalism, but uh, as you'll see, there's some in other places. That one actually draped itself over a pipe. There's a glove there. It's kind of creepy. Anyway, um, that's, that's uh, I don't think anybody did that one. On the next chest is a picture that shows up in some books. This is, um, I forget which mixture this is, but that's been vandalized. No question. So these are, that is a, uh, that rank that I'm shining my light on is a tuba de more? No, no, no. Um, oh, I forget what that is. Corps de more, I think. And then there's some trumpet in front. And a, a roar flute with very large tubes. And that says Clarabella. Pretty easy to read that one. Now on this next chest we have sort of a famous rank. Uh, in amongst the average scale uh, flutes, uh, there's a Vox Humana, there's a clarinet, there's a Clarabella, something. This is the famous uh, bassoon that's made out of what people say is paper mache, but it's not really paper mache. It's more like cardboard. And then in front is the tuba, uh, tromba de Moor, I think they call that one, with the wood resonators. Now I'm going to spend a little time on this um, this paper mache, the supposed paper paper mache rank. This uh, was apparently built by Welty, I think, in Germany, and I disassembled one pipe to show its unique construction. Uh, the bottom of the pipe does not have a regular foot on it. It has a regulating screw and the pipe uh, toe goes directly into the toe board. It does not use a rack board. And this, I hope the camera can, doesn't glare too much, that is what we call a free reed. That is not a regular reed with a uh, shallot and everything. This is like a reed organ reed. And then interestingly, the resonator itself has a, uh, a turned wooden part here. Get about the glare there. This is turned wood, and then this is the kind of cardboard material. You can see that that's turned on a lathe. I will reassemble that after I finish shooting the video. Then here's one of these uh, rank sheets that shows what the ranks are on this chest. Uh, tuba de Moor, Bassoon 16, Contra Gamba 16, Spire Flute 8, Clarabella 8, Chalumeau 16, Vox Humana 16, all on 15 inches of wind, except for the Tromba de Moor, which is on 25. And that was resting there like that. 
Uh, this is the bottom octave of, I'm not sure which, maybe the Clarabella. And it looks like the stoppers could uh, use some re-leathering. <laughs> no, that is not a crooked double link, but <laughs> those are the stoppers that have come down from the top of the rank. This is the 16-foot octave of the Vox Humana. So 16 Vox there. And if you look down the length of the chamber, there's uh, a very large stop metal flute over there, the trombe de mort, etc. And this is where the swell shades would be, but they're covered up with plastic. This is the 16-foot octave of the Chalumeau, clarinet kind of deal. And here is the 16-foot octave of that bassoon. And as you can see, again, the pipes fit directly into the tow board. And you can tell that they're made in Europe because there is the letter H instead of a B. Or instead of, uh, what is it? Yeah, H is B and A sharp. A sharp is B and B is H. Hence why you can do the B-A-C-H thing. All right, now I'm going to work my way over. Oh, um, here on top of the key or room relay is the bottom four notes of the 16 foot of the tuba de more or tromba de more. I always get it mixed up. Back chest isn't in too bad a shape. Has some uh, a spire flute and uh, gems horns and things. There's actually a lot of room on this lower level of the echo, which is unusual for this organ. Now against the back wall, here we have the bottom octave of the 32 foot violone. And it goes all the way to the end of the chamber that way. And here on the backs of these pipes, you can see the water damage. So there's not supposed to be a gap there. For those not in the organ business, that's, that's not good. This is the other side. This is the back side of some flues, uh, 16s of some sort, very high cutups. Uh, oh, that is the bottom of the spire flute. Right there. It goes up and has to be mitered to avoid hitting the ceiling, of course. And there's the bottom of those 16-foot trauma de more pipes. Here is a little switch stack. Up here in uh, this division, we have another one of these keyer rooms. Now, this is a much smaller version of what's um, on the right side of the uh, right chamber, the original keyer room, which has been kept in operation. This is a much smaller one, which has not been restored, but is the same, same principle. And if you look, uh, you can see the, the leather is kind of uh, not in good shape because <laughs> this probably hasn't been playing since the 1950s, is my guess. So this is Gallery 3. You can see on that pneumatic right there. So this, this is like a small closet where the other one is... Uh, Quite a bit bigger. This is about a third the size of the one in the grate. Because you can see each one of those note pneumatics is almost starting to look like a like a regular <laughs> like a regular organ. And there is a little piece of newspaper that says chamber chamber something, chamber no, it's it's old newspaper that they used for for gasketing. So that they could take the pneumatics off someday. the bottom of the trombone de more there. And looking back all the way to the beginning of the uh, lower level back here. As I say, a lot of space. You can just walk through here. See all these switch stacks. Nicely done and you can read what each stop is, of course. Chimes, chimes, chimes. Uh, tuba de more. 
Voxumana, etc. for the stops in this chamber. And then on this side are all the you know, just more more switching. That's more of the V alone. Which they really went to some trouble to uh, keep the roller beards in place, screwing them in and using a metal plate like that. And that, that goes all the way down on these. And they used a plate uh, gate on there for adjusting the volume on there too. And there is a tremolo pneumatic, I guess. And they had to cut some out of the new drywall to, to get that in there. Maybe, maybe that's the tremolo. tremolo system on this thing is pretty amazing. Uh, it says echo complete relay x1 by 4 or something. Whatever that means. So. All right. Well, there we have it. Uh, tour of the echo division. Hope that satisfies some of your old curiosity out there.